All right, so we'll do one example of a surface integral for a scalar field. Um, so our function, so remember this is the formula, we put this up a couple of videos ago. Uh, in this case, our function of x, y, and z is this one here, square root of x squared plus y squared. And the surface is going to be this spiral ramp, which I've done a bad job of drawing here. Um, so this is sort of this, uh, it spirals up. So if you ignore the z-coordinate, these would simply be polar coordinates for a, for a disk, right? But what happens is as theta increases, you also increase z. So imagine that you kind of, you have a disk, you make one cut along the, the radius, and you start kind of lifting, lifting it up and stretching it out, right? You get something like this. Um, so that's the surface. If we want to evalu evaluate this integral, we need the normal vector. So we know that the way, the way we get the normal vector is we calculate the two tangent vectors. So T sub u of u and v is going to be cos v sine v zero. The v derivative is going to be minus u sine v, u cos v, and 1. So that means the normal vector, oops, v, n of u v, it's the cross product of these two, right? So in the x component, we do this 2 by 2, we get simply sine v. And then for the, uh, for the y component, we do this one. So 0 minus cosine v. And the last one, we do this 2 by 2 here. Um, so u cos squared plus u sine squared. Sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So we simply get u. Okay. So there's our normal vector. So we can compute the magnitude, of course, the magnitude of the normal vector will be the square root of sine squared v plus cos squared v plus um, u squared. So that's simply the square root of 1 plus u squared. Okay. Uh, so we're almost ready to do the integral. The other thing we might, might want to notice is that with this parameterization, x squared plus y squared is going to be u squared cos squared v plus u squared sine squared v, which is u squared. Okay. So when we parameterize, we have v going from 0 to pi, u going from 0 to 1, Right. Um, the u parameter just decides how, how wide the ramp is going to be. Um, so my function right, is going to be square root of x squared plus y squared, which is the square root of u squared. Um, that's the absolute value of u, but u is positive. So square root of u squared is just u. Um, multiply by the magnitude of the normal vector, 1 plus u squared du, dv. Not so bad, right? Um, from here, you can evaluate it if you, uh, if you had to. I mean, we could, right? Let's see. What's the antiderivative for? Let's do this part, OK? 0 to 1. So there's going to be a, well, I guess it's already u, so maybe it's not a u sub, um, a w sub. Let's call it w. W is 1 plus u squared, dw, 2u, du. So this is going to be 1 half the integral. Let's see. When u is equal to 0, w is 1. When u is equal to 1, w is 2. Um, and then it's just w to the 1 half, dw. So that is going to be 1 half 
times two thirds times w to the three halves from one to two. So we get one third times square root of eight minus one. Okay, and so for the original integral, well, that gives us the u part, the v part, we just multiply by pi. So we get pi over, over 3 times root 8 minus 1, and we're done.